And good evening, everybody. Welcome again, once again, into uh, Nazro Hall on the campus of St. Andrew's Episcopal School, the uh, the lower school campus for these uh, middle school basketball games tonight. My name is Kevin McAdams for Vibe Live. Happy to be here once again. And this will be the first of three games tonight, as I mentioned earlier. But we'll run that down one more time as we wait for, as we uh, wait for tip off. Uh, this game will feature the Highlanders 5th and 6th grade girls basketball, the 1A girls team versus the Spartans from St. Stephen's, the 6th uh, grade girls from St. Stephen's. And the second game tonight will feature the 5th uh, and 6th grade boys team, the 1A boys versus their counterparts from St. Stephen's. And finally, the nightcap will feature the 2A 5th and 6th grade boys basketball team versus St. Stephen's. So play by college rules the game will be played in two halves uh, they've got the clock set for 18 minutes now so it looks like that's going to be the uh, the time period for this game And good news, everybody. It was just uh, from uh, one of the coaches from St. Stephen's was uh, just got here. Um, apparently some traffic delays going on, but just got here and handed me the now complete roster. So now I know uh, all the players for St. Stephen's. I know all their names and numbers now with very few exceptions. So um, I'll be able to uh, to fill in those blanks. And that's good because I was uh, really, you really don't want to just say number two all night, you know, or uh, number four scored. <laughs> So as you can hear down on the court right now, the girls are breaking the huddle on the side and get ready, getting ready to come out for tip off. So the starting five for St. Andrews being number 50, Addie Zimmerman. Number five, Charlotte Long. Number one, Savvy Cook. Number 42, Avery Joel. And number 41, Kennedy Hansen. You see Zimmerman set to take the uh, tip off against number 22 for St. Stephen's. That is Mary John Mabius. Also the other starting, uh, the rest of the starting five for St. Stephen's, number 14, Ava Hawthorne. We'll get the rest of them named as quickly as we can. St. Andrews gets the tip off. Savvy Cook trying to get things set up on, her, on the offensive side. Didn't really get very far with that. A little travel and St. Stephens will get possession off the side. Inbound to 22. That is uh, Mary John Mavius who took the opening tip. 12's got it on the wing. Now up in the middle of the 22 once again. She's looking for Dale. I can't find any. Stolen by St. Andrews. Fast break for number one. There she goes. Takes the shot. Shot goes in, but not before she's called for traveling. Savvy Cook on the fast break there. St. Stephen's got the ball once again. 17-13 to go in the half. Forward pass to number 14. Back to Mabius. Number 14, Ava Hawthorne. Also on the court for St. Stephen's, number 38. Unfortunately, I don't have a name to go with that number. By number 15, Lucia Sterling. St. Andrews giving it out of the backcourt against a wicked full court press. 42's got it, she drives up for the shot, no good. She gets another chance at it. Wide right. St. Stephen's still coming down with the rebound. Now things are tied up. Got a tie up going on with Avery Joel. And uh, Lucia Sterling for St. Stephen's. 16-21 left to go in the half. And St. Stephen's will inbound. 15-22. Manages to save it from going outside now. Got an open, nope, back to 12. St. Stephen's setting up the offense. There's a shot from the side. St. Andrews comes down with the rebound. 
And Savvy Cook will drive down the court once again. Really tough defense. Whoa, stolen now. St. Stephen's got a free shot at it. There we go. And they will be on the board first. That basket scored by number 12, Parker Williams. St. Stephen's throwing it down the court now. Another steal by the St. Stephen's girls. Here she comes. Pass across the lane. And Kennedy Hansen now will bring the ball down. Passed over to Cook. Pass in to Avery Joel. She takes a shot. And there's a tie-up under the basket as both teams are fighting for the rebound. The score right now, St. Stephen's. The Spartans, two. St. Andrews Highlanders girls, zero. 14, 50, 50 even to go in the first half. Sterling getting ready to inbound. Lucia Sterling drives the ball down the court. Rebound. Addie Zimmerman now with the rebound, taking it down the court, waiting for her offense to get set up. Passes it over to five to Cook. She's looking for a way in on the left. Looking for Zimmerman underneath. Nope, not there. Pass it across to Hansen, who drives the paint. Shoots from the left side, no good. Islanders come down with the rebound, but can't get anywhere. Things are tied. The arrow goes their way right now, so they'll get another chance under their own basket. Hansen getting ready to inbound now. Substitution coming in for St. Andrews. That would be number 11, Gigi James. Cook has the ball now. Brought it back across the backcourt line. The ball will turn over now. And we have Lucia Sterling sending it in once again. Number 14, Ava Hawthorne now. And she travels with it. Sterling to Mabius, gets her own rebound and puts it up. Score now 4-2. Hansen trying to work it down court, can't hang on to it, goes out of bounds. 12-20 to go in the first half. Oh, inbound pass intercepted. Intercepted by Hawthorne for the Spartans, but she can't get anywhere with it, but they will keep possession. Sterling looking to inbound it now. Islanders come down with the rebound. Tries to get it clear, can't. Back in the hands of the Spartans now. Mabius. Islanders come down with the rebound. 
Gigi to Coates. Cook, rather. She tries to pass it to Coates, but traveling call once again. 10.41 left in the half as the Spartans inbound. Mabius directing traffic now. Underneath two is uh, Charles Lee Yarger, number 24, a new player in for the uh, Spartans taking that shot. Sterling will inbound from the near baseline. It's intercepted by Cook, who's got one person to beat. Oh, it's stolen now by St. Stephens. Play fighting for the ball all the way up and down the court. Sterling goes up for the shot, rejected by James. Number two, Hornaday in the game now for uh, St. Andrews. Eight forty-five and counting in the first half. Your score four zero in favor of the Spartans. As Savvy Cook works the ball around the right side. Tries to get it back out to uh, James and nobody can control it, but possession is in favor of the Highlanders right now. Cook working the ball around the right side once again. It's stolen successfully by Mabius. She's gonna drive, she's gonna shoot, and she is successful. Score now 6-0 in favor of Spartans. Eight minutes left to go in the first half. And she caught a foul going up with that. As St. Andrews calls timeout. So coming out of the timeout, we will go to the foul line for the first time tonight. Murray John Mabius, number 22, will take one shot for the Spartans. No good, Hornaday comes down with the rebound and manages to clear the zone, clear it out of the zone and work it down the court. Coach has got it now. And it's intercepted and stripped away. Fast break now for the Spartans. Islanders come down with the rebound. Number 10, Abby Haney in the game now.
Missed shot from just inside the three-point line. Mabius now drives the basket on this end and puts another two on the board for the Spartans. Coates taking the ball down the court now, looking for room inside. Runs right up into the defense and loses control of the ball. It'll turn over now. Avery Joel coming back into the game now. Coates taking a seat for the moment for the Highlanders. And here come the Spartans once again. Maybe it's with the ball. Sterling looking to uh, bring it in under the near basket. Stolen by the Highlanders. Kate Delisi trying to get it down court. Can't get far with it before we have a call. Ball inbound to Haney now. Off on the left side. And trying to get in the middle now. It's picked off by the Spartans. And here comes St. Stephen's driving down the middle once again. And it's foul. For 24. Charles C. Yarger will go to the line now. Try to add to this big lead. 8-0 with five minutes left to go in the first half. First shot is off the backboard. New player in the game for the Spartans, number 34. I don't have a name to match with that number, but also number 29. And she would be Charlotte Perkins. Okay, Amy. Three twenty left in the first half. St. Stephen steals the ball, comes down the court. She's got a wide open shot to the net. Stop now. Back in the hands of the Highlanders. Addie Zimmerman taking it all the way down the right side of the court. Passing across court to Haney, who can't get the shot off before the call. Mabius has got the ball now. Passed it down the court to 34. She's driving against Zimmerman. Ball turns back over to St. Andrews now. Avery Joel bringing it down, and it's stolen once again. Here's another shot for. And thought that was going to be a foul call, but it turned out to be traveling against Yarger. Hornaday now passing it in to Joel. 
They're all down the right side, waiting for things to get set. She's gonna drive in and take the shot herself now, bounces off the rim. Zimmerman with the rebound, she can't get it up. And now it's gonna go over to, well, nope. Two minutes left to go in the first half of this game. St. Stephen tests the ball once again. We have seen this play going on all through this first half. Number 24 getting a wide open lane to the basket now. A little bit more of a team play that time as it gets passed across to Mabius and she puts in an easy layup. That'll make your score 10 to nothing. A minute and a half left to go in this first half. Haney to Hornaday. There we go. I apologize, I didn't see exactly who made that shot, but the best part of it is the Islanders are on the board. Your score 10 2 in favor of the Spartans. 120 to go in the first half as we have a timeout on the court. Again, this is the first of three games that we'll be bringing you tonight here on Vibe Live. We have the girls game now. The second one will be uh, fifth and sixth grade boys basketball, the 1A team versus St. Stephen's. And the St. Andrews Highlanders fifth and sixth grade 2A boys versus their counterparts from St. Stephen's. Okay, we're back to play now. Parker Williams getting ready to send it in from the far baseline. Over to Sterling, now ahead to Mabius. She's gonna drive and take the shot. It's a miss, Zimmerman comes down with the rebound. She's working up the right side. Ball's knocked away and goes out of bounds. And possession will go over to. Nope, nope, they will keep possession. That's right. Inbound to Haney now. Looking for number three on the left side. Now she's got Zimmerman underneath. Zimmerman takes the shot. It's off the rim. Highlanders come down with the rebound, number 42. She puts it in. And that will. Reduce the lead, 10-4 your score now. I'll get that updated on the screen as quick as I can. Trapped in the corner now, they're looking to get it up. There we go. And we'll get that score updated now. You score 10-4, favor of the Spartans. 24 seconds left to play in the first half. Inbound stolen by Haney, but the whistle's blown before she can get anywhere with it. And ball goes over to the Highlanders now. Hornaday gets it into Haney. And it is stolen. She had a great shot at it, but uh, after a traveling call, the Islanders will inbound from the near baseline. Down to number 42, she's gonna go in, she's gonna take the shot off the rim with 3.66 seconds left to play in the first half of this first game of the evening. Number two, Hornaday. Tries to get it in, stolen by Yarger, who was about to do what we've seen her do all afternoon so far, <laughs> get a hold of that ball and just run ahead of everybody toward the near goal. And the clock runs out. 
before Joel can get the shot up. And at halftime, your score, St. Stephen Spartans 10 and St. Andrews Highlanders 4. We'll go ahead and step aside for halftime, and uh, we'll be back for the second half in about five minutes. And welcome back into uh, Nazro Hall on the campus of St. Andrews, the lower campus of St. Andrews Episcopal School for middle school basketball night here on Vibe Live. My name's Kevin McAdams, doing my best to describe things to you and bring you the video and all that good stuff. About 20 seconds now until we start the second half. It'll be a half of uh, 18 minutes as we played before. And St. Stephen's, the Spartans, 
will have the honor of starting with the ball this time around. And Sterling has got the ball, and she gets it all the way across to Mabius, who finds number 38 just off the paint. She's got it back to number 22 now, Mabius. Almost out, they managed to save it, but it's stolen by St. Andrews. Hansen to Joel. Coach tries to get the three-point shot, doesn't get it, it goes out. The 41 gets it into 20. She'll take the shot off the rim. Avery Joel draws the foul right there, and she will take her first trip to the foul line tonight for two shots. 17.07 left to play in this game. 10-4 right now, currently the score. As Joel will work to change that, cut into that lead just a little bit more. First shot is up and good. Now cuts the Spartans lead in half. And off the rim. Coates and number 38 trying to fight for the rebound. Winds up going out of bounds. St. Andrews will keep it. All the way out to Cook. Off the rim. Sterling comes down with it for St. Stephen's, but can't control it. Sterling now will inbound from the near baseline. You're looking to get it down the court. There we go. Number 12's got it for St. Stephen's. Stolen by St. Andrews. Pass going across the court to number five, Charlotte Long. She can't hang on to it, though. And ball will go back to St. Stephen's. Sterling to Mabius. Down to 38 on the left side. Back out to the top of the key. 22's got the ball, Mabius. Out to Sterling, back inside to Mabius in the middle. She goes up off the rim. St. Andrews comes down with the rebound, number 20, bringing it all the way down. She pulls up, looks for the shot, doesn't have it, pulls back out. Working around the left side now. Nice. The lead now cut down to three. Nice pass down the court to 38. She catches it on the run and puts in an easy layup. Score now 12-7. Long's got the ball. Tied up by heavy defense. Hanson will inbound the ball. Over to Joel. She takes it, goes in. Timeout on the court. Your score right now 14 7 in favor of the St. Stephen Spartans. 14 minutes and 15 seconds left to go in this game.
All right, coming back out of the timeout. Again, Spartans lead this game 14-7. 14-15 left to play. Hansen has got the ball at the far baseline. And you can hear the coach saying, uh, try to get it out to Joel. And there it goes on the left side. Joel driving down the court against Williams, Parker Williams, number 12. And as you can see, she didn't get very far against that solid defense. Ball into Cook. She struggles to move it forward. Coates takes the shot from the top of the key. No good. 38 trying to get it out for St. Stephen's. St. Andrew's defense all over her. Working hard against Joel there. Can't keep the ball in. And once again, Hansen will inbound. To Coates. She loses control. Number 12 steals it. Goes up, looks for the shot, doesn't have it. Now it's back in the hands of St. Andrews as Joel tries to bring it down against number 38 for St. Stephen's. Hornaday will bring the ball in this time. Some substitutions coming in for the Highlanders. We'll let you know as soon as we can. Cook trying to work it around the side. Can't bring it in, gets tied up with Williams. The arrow is in favor of the Spartans right now. So Sterling will inbound. Yarger back in now for the Spartans. Off to number 22. She's looking to pass down court. No decides to hang on to it now as the offense gets set up for the Spartans. Into number 38, she takes the shot. It is good. 16-7 your score now. Just under 12 minutes to play. Out to Zimmerman. Zimmerman, she's got a lot of room. She's working down the left side. Holds up out to Cook on the outside. She's looking to get it inside. Nothing open yet. There it is. She's got it in to two. Zimmerman comes down with the rebound. And the ball will go back over. Navius works it down the court, gets it across to 38. Back to underneath to Navius. And I'm not sure if that shot's going to count or not. It is going to count. 18-7 now. And once again, a timeout on the court. Coming out of the timeout, 11.09 left to play. As the St. Andrews team needed to do a little bit of regrouping. Mary John Mabius, number 22, going to the line. 
try and extend this lead. First shot is good. 19-7 your score now, and that is it. She just gets the one. The Islanders trying to get it out of the zone. Unable to, it goes back over to the Spartans. And they'll get another chance to bring it in from the far end. It's in. Out to down finally. Maybe it puts it in for another two. Score now 21-7. St. Andrews comes into Zimmerman. She can't hold on to it. It's stolen by the Spartans now. And they'll get another shot at it. Maybe it drops another two. That last basket coming off the fingertips of Charleston Yarger once again, number 24. She has been one of the most dangerous players on the court tonight. She's fast, she's had numerous fast breaks, and that was just a uh, six to nothing unanswered scoring run from the, uh, from the Spartans. The Highlanders taking a timeout one, once again to um, try and sort things out and regroup. Islanders working to set up the play. Joel's got it uh, under the left, uh, right side now. Now to Cook. She drives in on the baseline. Almost loses the ball. Back out to Joel's now who takes the shot. Joel's got the shot once again off the rim. St. Stephen's comes down with the rebound now, but can't hang on to it. And it'll go back over to the home team. Hansen inbounds to Coates, who turns around, takes the shot. It goes down. Five nine the scores. The clock winds down through nine minutes, and Hanson will inbound it once again. All the way out to Cook. Takes the shot from the top of the key. Miss. Joel's comes down with the rebound and puts another two up. Yarger trying to uh, break away with it as we've seen her do so many times this afternoon. Winds up traveling with the ball. They're on the right side line. And Hanson will inbound once again. She's got Cook and Coates off to Coates. Who drives in on the left side. Can't get anywhere. Now looking to get back out. Passes across. Looking for Long. Too many Spartan hands in the way. Ball winds up going out. Sterling bringing it in now to 33. And I don't have a name to go with that number. I apologize. 
Joel gets the ball for the Highlanders and takes the shot. And draws a foul. She'll be going to the line for one. And let's correct that score. Score 25-11. First shot is off the rim. Down, Hansen comes down with the rebound. Now Joel has it again. And Avery Joel goes right back to the line. First shot is off the rim. Number 29 coming in for the Spartans. 38th heading out. Number 29, Charlotte Perkins. And Joel will take her second shot. That one is off the rim. Cook's got the rebound. Long fighting with Sterling for the rebound. Neither one comes with it, but the arrow is pointing in St. Andrew's direction, so Hanson will inbound it once again. All the way out to Cook, she takes a shot, it bounces off the back of the rim. Ball goes over to, oh, Coates has got it now, takes another shot. Back to Cook once again. Big scrum right there in the middle of the lane. Everybody fighting for the ball. St. Stevens will get it. Sterling. Cook bringing it back down the court for the Highlanders. Tries to pass it to Coates on the right side. Coates tries to save it, can't get there quite fast enough. Five and a half minutes to go. Yes, Sterling. Looking for Mavius, can't find her. Gets it to Yarger. Winds up in the hands of Joel. She takes the shot. Cook gets the rebound. She takes another shot. Coates goes up with the third rebound. Finally drains it. 25-13. Sterling looking for an opening. She's got it in the hands of Mabius. Back to Sterling. Nope, Mabius has got it. She's driving down the court. Got 33 open under the net. There it is. Rebound, catches the rebound. Mabius puts it away. Score now 27-13. Cook driving up the court now. Over to Joel. Back to Cook. She'll take the shot from just inside the arc. Hansen comes down with it, tries to get it out to Coates. Blocked. Now fighting with Sterling for it. Eddie Zimmerman coming back into the game for the Highlanders with four minutes left to play. Hanson to Zimmerman. Zimmerman goes to take the shot. She's blocked by Mabius who comes up with the ball. She's looking to get it away. She gets it all the way down court. She's got a player open. But she doesn't see it. Now Cook has got the get ball once again. Cook pulls up, takes the shot, bounces off the rim. Spartans come down with the rebound. And maybe this has got a break. She's got 33 open under the basket. Spartans come down with the rebound. And Spartans take the shot. Nope. Joel comes down with the rebound that time. Gets it out to Long, but she's not going anywhere with it. Everybody, 
Kate DeLisi, number three in the game now for the Highlanders. Shot goes up for the Spartans, no good. They come down with the rebound. Number 22 maybe is she takes the shot off the rim. DeLisi gets the rebound for the, for the Highlanders. And now, Joel drives up the court once again, runs into the half-court press out to Cook, who's looking to get around the right side. And uh, foot slips on the, on the floor, heads out. Ball will go back over to the Spartans. 2.15 left to go in this game and counting. Sterling will bring the ball in to number 14, Ava Hawthorne. Hawthorne down the court to 38. He drives up into the left corner. Back out to Hawthorne. The call goes against the Spartans. Hornaday brings in the ball. Gets it to number 10, Haney. Who brings it all the way up here to the near corner. Goes out to Salisi. Gets tied up with Tied up with Mary Mabius. And the ball will turn over with a minute 46 left to go. Sterling inbounds it to number 12. Looks like the defense playing just a little too close over there. Sterling brings it into Hawthorne. Hawthorne across to number 12. Spartans were getting set up, but uh, couldn't get anything together, and Hawthorne gets called for traveling. Ball goes into the hands of Hornaday. It brings it into Haney. Haney working against two defenders. Passes it down court. Zimmerman's under the, under the net, but she can't hang on to it. Hornaday fighting for the ball over there in that corner on the left side of your screen. But couldn't get anywhere with it. And Sterling will inbound once again for the Spartans. She's got a player under the net. Number 12, Parker Williams drives down the court. Gets maybe a open under the basket. She takes the shot. Doesn't get anywhere with it. 27-13 your score. 116 to go. And maybe it's pulls a foul that time, and she will go to the line. First shot is no good. And nothing coming out of that trip to the foul line. delise has got the ball now. Can't get anywhere against the defense. Tries to pass it across court. Sterling trying to go to number 38. Zimmerman knocks it out of bounds. 109 to go. <laughs> Trying to pass it down the court to Mabius. She goes, takes the shot, two more. Starts to work down the court before timeout is called. We are under a minute to play now. 52.46 seconds to be exact.
And the Highlanders and Spartans step back out on the court to finish this ball game. 29-13, the Spartans lead. Just under a minute left to play. Hanson back in the game now. Gigi James coming off the court. Hanson into Cook. Takes her time, waits for things to get set up, finds Coates underneath. Coates trying to drive in the paint, get, get it. Now Mabius has got a fast break for the Spartans. She goes up and adds another two to the Spartan total. Cook's got the ball now, waiting for her offense to get set. Looking to Hanson on the left now, looks for Coates underneath. Finally gets it. Intercepted by Mabius once again, 14 Hawthorne. Trying to bring it down the court for the Spartans. And gets called. We are now about 18 seconds left to play. Inbound to Cook. Cook finds Long there on the right side. Left side on your screen, now back to Cook. Working against 38 for the Spartans. Okay. No openings. Tries to dish it underneath to Zimmerman, she loses it. And that is the game. Final score in our first game, the girls game tonight. The Highlanders 13. And of course the Spartans 31, as you can see there at the top of your screen. So, that is again just the first of three games here tonight. The next game will feature the boys. And that will be up in about, I'm going to say in about 15 to 20 minutes. But uh, I'll keep you posted right here. So just relax, enjoy the sounds of the gymnasium, and I will get ready to bring you that next game as soon as they're ready to play it. <laughs> 